abuse them. You abuse them, and you toss them away. Well, now they are back, and they are here to stay. But no need to fret. They just want to play. What up, you guys? It's your tall guy. You know where we're at. Universal Studios Hollywood for a classic HHN update. But this might just be the biggest yet. So far, we have a lot of walls down. We have scary zones that have come to fruition. A uh, Fast and Furious update as well. And we got to catch some stuff that's going on on the studio tour as well. As the 60th anniversary is coming to a close, Terror Tram is coming to fruition. So. Enough wasting time on the intro. Don't forget to drop your talk. I like comment down below subscribe if you haven't already Let's get to it As the recording of this video it is August 8th when Thursday Can you guys believe we're less than a month away from Halloween Horror Nights soon? Fire towers opening ceremony chainsaws These are not just structured yet It'll come soon though well, 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 finally decided to put your walls down and show yourselves to the real world monstros yet again with the beautiful yet terrifying facade. Let's go. Let's go into depth with this one, guys. Alrighty, so short conversation about monstros, nightmares of Latin America. We know the three monsters, El Chato, Cadejo, most importantly, Gugui. That's why we have all those kids dolls out and about, hung up on a tree like a trophy system kind of thing you know all the children he's claimed throughout his years um then we'll, we're just gonna go face to face with all of them but of course they already have the lighting rigs up to bring this house to life even more at night i can't wait to hear the audio and the just the score to this music it's uh, spine chilling but as we walk into our scare zone would you guys be upset if they bring back la yarona music into the mix this year yet again they did it for two years straight. Do we should we have something new for the Luchadores scare zone or keep it the same? I think we should change it up a bit, just to be honest. But check it out. We got a wrestler in a cage. In the elimination chamber, baby. Let's get him out. We are smack dab in the middle of Fern Street, and as you can see, the props are laid out. Our Luchadores posters are out and about. We even have some in cages. Hopefully, we'll set them free sometime soon. So our Lucha Dores came from a midsummer scream announcement from none other than John Murdy himself. How he explained how this scare zone was going to go down was, if you are wrestling fans, you'll know what terminology I'm using. Um, we have two faces, and the rest are just heels. So our good guys, per se, in this uh, scare zone are the tag team match, which are Muerte Azul and Diablo Verde. Now, these guys are up against the world basically <laughs> now their opponents in this scare zone are just some of uh, these other skeleton luchadores but in particular they're going up against <laughs> some universal monster luchadores as well you we got some that look like wolfman uh frankenstein's monster it's, it's gonna be great Amir. look all i'm asking for is probably won't happen put a ring just put a, put a, put a ring <laughs> somewhere in the scare zone please <laughs> It don't gotta be you. <laughs> just want to see a ring, still a flight for the top ropes. I, I'm, am I asking for too much? Probably, but it's just <laughs> helpful thinking, man. That would be too awesome. Now we still got these blank show pieces that also arrived. If you guys remember, this is where they usually play the video package of the scare zone. Probably just displaying um, each character's background and who they are, who you're gonna meet, kind of a thing. Uh, they only have one of these laid out. Usually they're stacked with like three of them throughout the zone. And then we got one more right over there. Check out. All right, this is the the poster art for Diablo Verde right here. Let's, Let's see what I mean by uh, Lucha de Frankenstein. <laughs> and then just a basic uh, skeleton mask. <laughs> Gabby, yeah, tag me out. How's it going? You gotta right. tag me out. All right, he's yours. All right. Oh no! Put him in the one two. Come on, one okay, two. Count. All right, his wrists look really <laughs> weak. So. <laughs> How you How's doing it today? going? That's I'm going good. good. I'm heading over there to Check. Paris. Ah, good for you. Yeah, this is the Vacation. first thing I've seen. Yeah, it's pretty spooky. Besides, like, it? the front of this house over here. Ah. 
less than a month. Yeah. Less than a month. Eh? Like I mentioned in my previous video, we saw these masks um, developed by Immortal Mask Company over at uh, Monster Palooza when we went over that day. I was there with Junior and we, we saw the display. We saw some of the masks. We didn't see the Luchadores like uh, Universal mask, but for the most part, we saw those uh, skeleton ones. I'll put it up for you guys to look at it again. But over on my Instagram, SoCal Tall Guy, if you guys want to check me out there. All right, grand reveal, guys. Look at the progress. Holy sh. I'm not going to say it. But damn. Do y'all remember when this was just a dirt field? And now. Oh man, y'all remember animal actors? I remember, but shit. <laughs> oh damn, it's, it's a sight to be seen, guys. These sidelines are gonna go crazy. I'm just curious as to how much longer are we gonna have this view for of the construction sites. I'm surprised it's we've been having this view for a while, but you know, regardless, I know they're gonna put up those uh, sound barrier walls to keep noise from bleeding out from the theme park. Uh, so we'll see how that lasts, but man, this construction is wild. I, I can't wait to see the ride vehicles, man. Those ride vehicles are ah, universal. You guys are going to kill it with those ride vehicles, dude. I'm just a more hopeful thinking. Animatronic Vin Diesel. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Popping into Hogsmeade for some lunch. Final, I'm just so happy I get to take my time today with Universal. Um, we're going to get good or reliable over at the three broomsticks i'll show you on a bit but right now if you don't know universal is also promoting um back to school season or back to hogwarts at the park so uh specialty merch is out for sale the backpacks um you know you got the the robes wands you know just all the normal stuff they sell at the park but check it out some really cool stuff for all the classes basically and you look at that reserved just for me so, good or reliable consists of the fish and chips. Here's the fish, here's the chips. Opted for a cold butterbeer today, but I, don't, I think I didn't mean to ask for the souvenir cup, so I don't need that. Uh, I got some water cups because it's need to hydrate out here, but good or reliable platinum pass. This came out to about $25. Uh, pretty okay, okay. I just wish there was a meal plan of some sort. Gotta love the meal plan at theme parks, right? And to talk a little bit more about HHN, well, since we're in Hogsmeade, don't forget that this will be your pathway to get to the H slot, also known as Curious George Parking Structure. So where the two mazes are there in the back, uh, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, and Insidious, into the further, uh, Insidious. <laughs> I think this may finally be one of the last weeks we'll see a busy Universal. Until then, a lot of, a lot of schools will be back in session and Let's wait times, hopefully. I know during October, September, October, during Halloween season, it ain't too crowded. <laughs> but the crowds will be here for Halloween Horror Nights, so. though. Alright, we have about an hour and so minutes before we can hop on a studio tour. I don't want to wait in an hour line. You gotta wait for the 3 p.m. Platinum Express to kick in. But uh, let's go check out Dead Exposure and then let's go down to the lower lot this time and just talk about our early entry plans and ideas for those of you that may have bought an early entry ticket already. Alrighty, overlooking uh, Death Valley, Dead Exposure, we do have more prop pieces on the facade uh, and it does look more worn out. A lot more paint has been added and then we can't really see what it says, but we have some kind of signage right on top of where the break-in or the crash happened with the van. Can't make up what that says. Only Wait, just kidding. After taking a photo and zooming in all the way, all it says is uh, Research and Development Annex 22-48. wonder if that has any significance. But uh, we'll see. Made it to the upstairs of the Jurassic Cove area. Get away from the lower lock crowds. Look at that. Pretty busy down there. But um, let's talk about this year's lineup for the lower lock, guys. It is stacked, let me tell you. The weekend, if you guys remember where he was last, not last year, about two years ago, 2022. Same spot next to the Transformers uh, ride. Over here by Mummy, we got Death Valley Dead Exposure. Exiting that, you're entering Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then, new location. Wait for these guys. There we go. And a new maze location over by the Voice Soundstage is uh, Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines, which, if I believe um, is to be true, should be utilizing the extended queue for Jurassic World the ride. Um, as for early entry, you know, there's no confirmation as to what mazes are 
going to be open for early entry, but if I were to assume they're just going to do the same plan as last year. Usually everything for the lower lot. You have early entry. My train of thought would be um, to line up, queue up before that early entry time starts. There's another boat. <laughs> but um, I remember last year I did early entry, waited maybe down here an hour before early entry actually opened for The Last of Us. So I could just be closer to the front of the front of the line. If you get here after early entry begins, you're already winning a long line. So plan ahead, guys. I also do believe I did a video last year about early entry. So I think it's right here. Check it out. Now let's talk about the theme bar they always love to do up here. So uh, they could go the same route they did two years ago and go the weekend again. Same layout, different themed drinks, or they could take a different route. Uh, Ghostbusters would be kind of fun if you ask me. But ultimately, if, I wouldn't mind the weekend being up here again. Just hearing his music. The drinks are so good last year. Yeah, the drinks are always good up here, if I recall. Little pricey, but uh, they, they do pack a good punch. Alrighty, for all of my RIP people. You guys see this bridge that's right here? Well, right over there, yeah, dining area transforms into a private bar and lounge area uh, just for RIP and VIP celebrities only. I mention it every year, but I always love to remind the people, if you have RIP this year, you don't got to wait in the line that everyone's waiting for for their drinks. Head over to this bridge, show them your credentials, go get your drinks way quicker. To being a VIP member, RIP, I'm sorry, you get to ditch all of this and come down, sorry, this way to an RIP lounge exclusive bar and lounge right over here. Look how short that line is compared to the one over here. Wow. Pretty busy day here at Universal. You know when Jurassic World is all the way backed up to its fifth switchback area. Oh, just kidding. They're actually using the extended queue today. No, this is actually where I wanted to go. So this is where the queue normally ends, but now it's extending all the way out here. Now, let me this is what I kind of wanted to show you what's going to be utilized for Universal Monsters uh, Eternal Bloodlines. Alright, this is interesting because previous years, this is where you'd be dropped off for the RIP bus um, after you're done completing the Terra Tram and Curious George mazes to then wander off to the uh, upper lot, lower lot and get to the tram to go through those mazes too. So I wonder how those operations will change this year. But to my speculation, you know, they're gonna fill up this queue. Someone's gonna be, have, has to be right here, letting people go up and around to the voice sound stage, letting a crosswalk happen. I don't know where they're gonna be setting up the queues over there, but this is all gonna be new territory for us. Now, years ago, this is where the original Insidious maze was located, but that queue was outside of these walls and using some of the Jurassic World queue, but like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure this extended queue is going to be used as well as whatever is going on back there in the back lot. Alrighty, on to the last portion of the video, the studio tour coverage. Let's talk. We're on the walkway. I love to walk and talk here. Uh, anyway, Halloween Horror Nights around the corner. What are we doing? We'll be there opening weekend. We'll be there first day. First day of RIP as well. Ah, man. Good times, good times. So yeah, it'll be me and Rachel for the first day of RIP to get that coverage and that experience. Edit that video one day later, have it up for you guys to check out for any RIPers that are going to be doing it this year. And I did purchase the frequent fear pass. Uh, luckily, when I went on sale, it's currently on sale, guys. It's $30 cheaper now, so hop on it before it does sell out. Although I have never seen the frequent fear pass sell out in my in my years of coming um just never know some years you know but um it's a pretty solid lineup this year at this point what am i most hyped about um probably still the universal monsters eternal bloodline maze it's gonna be hype coming up to the tram driving around the sets and just like them we too are gonna have fun of this sort because not only are we celebrating the 60th anniversary of the studio tour but it's also a big big here into different pieces and then transport it to universal studios Hollywood. Get in. One and keep on looking. 
to the right because in just a second you guys are going to see the official scale replica of the famous Hollywood sign while our tour is celebrating. As we make our way out of here guys, studio tour, what do we see? Alright, so first of all, I, I can never get the shot of the Universal Monsters voice sound stage facade. So, we just got to wait for opening night for that. As far as that goes, uh, walls are fully down for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. It looks exactly what was shown to us from Midsummer Scream from John Murdy's concept art and we're gonna get that walk around character in front of the facade too it's gonna be fun uh, as far as that goes studio tour work god a lot of terror tram work is going on as we get closer to the conclusion of the studio tour 60th anniversary it is for sure uh, confirmed should i say gonna be blumhouse enter the blumhouse looks like our host is gonna be megan so we're gonna be seeing a bunch of megan throughout the uh terror tram we got the grabber from the black phone uh, freaky happy death day surprisingly a bunch of purgers so no surprise there but um we're gonna get a reroute to the terror tram uh i really love the inclusion of the bates motel we'll just have to wait and see how fast they take down stuff start putting up walls i'm sure these these guys can work on it quick uh, just looking at what they're doing towards the world war of the world set I have no doubt uh, they could pull a lot of the stuff down already from Bates Motel. All right, and it looks like we also got some juicy information regarding RIP coming from Universal themselves. It looks like the Jupiter Claim set, the Us Snope section of the Terror Tram is going to be exclusive to RIP only. Now, they didn't say who's going to be in there, but if you ask me, I think we're getting a little bit more than just the, uh, the Us characters from Jordan Peele's Us. Um, might get some Blumhouse surprises in there, who knows. I know last year we got a great interaction with uh, the grabber from the Black Phone. Actually talked, interacted with us. That was a lot of fun. Um, so, that whole section, just for us, we'll just have to wait and see. And I do know back in 20, what was it, 2022, I believe, they did use a section of the Us Nope area, sort uh, of like the back of the Nope section for an RIP exclusive interaction. But we'll just have to wait and see how it all uh, goes down opening night. This is an RIP exclusive experience in here. What's going on? Take you off to the side, and then you got a little show going out where they kill the they kill the robber essentially. The tethered killed the robber. That was, that was really neat. Only for our RP experience. Well, you guys got to see it now. All right, you guys. That is gonna do it for the updates here at Universal Studios Hollywood. As far as Halloween Horror Nights goes, I'm gonna be honest. I think there's only gonna be maybe maybe a, a vlog and a half for updates left. All we're missing is the fire towers and just a little scare, scare zone set up here and there and more terror tram work. So we're almost there, guys. Less than a month away. Uh, What's well, going to be coming from the channel? Vlogs? <laughs> I love vlogs. Uh, some live streams here and there from all of the haunts, of course. And just be on the lookout for that RIP first day video because we are doing that on day one. And I just, just can't wait to experience it. So if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to drop your tall guy. A like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. You'll catch this tall guy at the next theme park. We are out of here. Goodbye.